What if the dinosaurs you grew up imagining never actually looked like that? For decades, scientists painted a picture of prehistoric life, but many of those facts were totally wrong. From thumb spikes mistaken for horns, to see monsters shown on land, science has made some jaw-dropping mistakes. Today, we're exposing the prehistoric creatures that scientists got horribly wrong. And trust me, number one will blow your mind. They ruled the earth millions of years ago. But the truth is, for decades, we imagined many of them completely wrong. From the terrifying T-Rex to the gentle giants of the sea, scientists made some shocking mistakes. Today, we're diving into the biggest blunders in prehistoric animal reconstructions. Get ready for a wild journey through prehistoric myths, misidentifications, and scientific surprises. In the 1800s, Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered, but early scientists thought its thumb spike was a horn on its nose. They imagined it as a rhino-like beast. It wasn't until later fossils showed the spike was actually on its hand, possibly used for defense or fighting. A simple mistake, but one that lasted for decades. Spinosaurus was long believed to be a land. Predator like T-Rex, but fossils were incomplete and in World War II, key bones were destroyed in bombings. For years, reconstruction showed it walking like a land dinosaur. Only recently did we discover Spinosaurus was likely semi-aquatic, had shorter legs, and may have hunted for over 100 years. Brontosaurus was a household name. But in the early 20th century, scientists decided it was actually the same dinosaur as Apatosaurus. They claimed Brontosaurus never existed. That changed in 2015. When researchers found enough differences to revive Brontosaurus as its own species, Archelon was a prehistoric sea turtle, the largest ever found. But early depictions gave it a hard shell, like modern turtles. Turns out Archelon had a leathery, flexible shell, more like a giant sea glider than a hard-shelled tank. Artists and museums showed it wrong for years before the correction was made. Everyone thinks Dimetrodon is a dinosaur. Just look at that sail and those teeth. But here's the twist. It lived 40 million years before dinosaurs even appeared. Dimetrodon is actually closer to mammals than dinosaurs. It's a perfect example of how looks can be deceiving in the fossil world. For years, pterosaurs, the flying reptiles, were portrayed as scaly, bat-like creatures. But recent discoveries show many of them had pycnofibers, or hair-like structures, possibly the precursors to feathers, they weren't lizards with wings. They were much closer to warm-blooded dynamic flyers. Some could even glide for miles or hunt with keen eyesight. They weren't just winged monsters. They were aerodynamic marvels. Ever heard that Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut? That myth spread like wildfire. While it's true their brains were small, the second brain theory in its tail is a misinterpretation. Newer research shows Stegosaurus likely had complex behavior, possibly even tail control for defense, thanks to a network of nerves, and a second brain. Megalosaurus was the first dinosaur ever named. In the early 1800s, but with only fragmentary bones, scientists guessed it was a giant lizard walking on four legs. Even called it scrotum humanum based on a fossil shape. Now we know it was a bipedal predator walking upright with deadly claws, nothing like the clumsy reptile. They once imagined, CINC is always evolving, and with every fossil, we learn more. These prehistoric creatures were not what we once believed. But that's the beauty of discovery. What do you think scientists might still be getting wrong? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more ancient mysteries reveal.